Mr. Cates, how nice to see you again so soon, sir. Good evening, Carl. This is my wife, Susan. Hello. Good evening, madam. Hey, Rosie. The name is Jacob, man. Right on. Yeah, right. Hey, what's cooking? <laughs> here. You busy? No, I'm having my lunch break. What well, about it? Hey, cauliflower. Must be Thursday. It's potatoes and it's Friday. This way. Carl, is uh, Stephen still here? Yes, Mr. Cage, he is. We'd like his table, please. As you wish, sir. Hey, uh, Naomi, uh, my bills add up last night. It didn't work last night. I didn't work one. No, have you seen my tie? Unforgettable experience. This is the most absent-minded waiter I have ever seen. Steve, table 19, party of two. Right away, please. Maintenant, table 19, all right? Table 19. It's an expensive restaurant. Pay a lot of money to come in here. They're expecting a professional waiter, so here we go. Professional food service. Water. And glasses. Good evening and welcome. Mal, would you like to see a menu? Uh, yes, we would, please. Ah, but first I'll take your order, save a little time on that. Excuse me. Yeah. Ah, excuse me. Now, what would you like? Uh, I'll just have the New York steak medium uh, with a small spinach salad. Very good. And for madam? Uh, well, uh, I'll have some uh, rare roast beef and uh, avocado vinaigrette, please. Excellent. Now, what would you like? New York steak medium and a small spinach salad. That's a popular dish. Another fellow just ordered that. Now, would you like something to drink? I'll have a martini. Well, we'll have two martinis. Two martinis. Now, would either of you like anything to drink? We'll have two martinis. Two martinis. Excellent. Now, would either of you like anything to drink? Uh, yes, we'll each have a martini. Ah, two martinis. Good. I'll be back in just a moment. Ah. Excuse me. Be back with your appetizers in just we a moment. We didn't order appetizers. Would you please tell me what's going on here? George Manos brought me in here a couple of weeks ago. It was incredible. Uh -huh. All right. Here's your drink order. One, two, three, four, five, six martinis. And your lard omelet. A lard omelet? I didn't want a lard omelet. Well, you better make up your mind. Ah, oh, allow me. Amazing, isn't it? Yes, it's amazing. It's not very amusing. Ah, oh, what a meal, huh? Save room for a little dessert? How about some nice Dutch sugar jelly cake? It's good for you. Excuse me, but we haven't gotten our entrees yet. Excuse me, but we haven't even gotten our entrees yet. Oh, sorry, I just went to the Bahamas for a moment. What? 
No entrees? The chef must have forgot. This guy crazy or what? Trust me. <laughs> Trust you. Trust me. Ah, here we are. <clears throat> Stack of lips. Curly maple surprise. Here's your cold lard omelet. And your hamburger. Hold the onions. Well, I just don't believe you're doing this to me. I mean, I hire a babysitter, I get my hair fixed, I drive all the way into town to meet you, I risk death in God knows what kind of a sinister parking lot, and for this, we don't really go out that often. And I'm not going to forget this travesty very soon, you remember, Sam? And Saturday? here's your change. 1950, 20, 30, 40, 60, 80, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000 dollars. Thank you, and come again. Ah, two for dinner? Uh, yes, two, please. Certainly, sit right down. <clears throat> I'll have this mess cleaned off for you in a moment. Pigs must have been here. side of the street can't you hear that bitter power that the society for the preservation of comedy genius and in accordance with the last wishes of mahatma gandhi presents steve martin in in that homage to steve yes steve martin the world's funniest white man, in concert at the Universal Amphitheater, September 28, 1979. Steve? Okay, who's Steve. next? Um, Alan. Steve, how much time should I take between a setup and a punchline of the joke? A second and a half. Second and a half. Very good. Yeah. One second. Steve. Yeah. Steve. 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 David. Is it all right to do material that's uh, off color? David, that's up to each performer's own personality and style. 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 That's the word. Steve. Style. Style. Cut it out. Do you think a sad song is less effective if it's performed with an up tempo beat? Oh, you yeah. want to do comedy. Paul, I'd really prefer just to talk about my comedy right now. Oh. Hello? Oh, hi, Woody. Sure. A second and a half. Anytime. Bye. Steve, what is comedy? Yeah, yeah. Good question. Right. <clears throat> comedy is the ability to make people laugh without making them puke. Puke. Oh, yeah, that's the key. Oh, hi, Richie. Sure. Well, that's up to each performer's own sense of personality and style. No, I would use mother... Yes, it sounds better. Okay, bye. Sometimes when I'm working in a minor key, I think to myself... Here. God's sake. Steve, Steve, uh, do you have any really rare footage of you doing your acting concert? <laughs> well, I, I do, but um, I would prefer not to show it. Um. <laughs> huh. 
Okay, guys. Let's see, I do have this one tape from, here it is, 1979. I guess it'd be okay to show it. They have these things here. Good. Okay, let's not waste any more time. <laughs> Boy, those are good seats up there. <laughs> The show has started! I can see him selling those seats. Oh yeah, they're real good. Yeah. <laughs> Our ticket would take us 9.75 during the week. That's not bad, really, to see a big show like this. Um, well, with all the uh, props and everything. <laughs> It's kind of fun for me to see the people in the audience with the amateur model arrow through their hands. <laughs> this, of course, is the professional model. Um, made in Germany, cost $150. But really, $9.75, that's nothing. For that, someone should come out and go... Okay, one more time for the photographers. <laughs> My, what a cute girl. <laughs> well, you get to see a show. All I have are memories. <laughs> and I'm into professional photography. <laughs> I paid 900 bucks for this. Is that too much? So these cameras are great because an idiot... Oh no, I broke my camera, oh no! Oh well, here we go, okay, good. Have a new record coming out in about three weeks. And, uh... Oh boy, oh boy! The, uh, the only reason I mention it, uh, I will be on TV, uh, some shows to promote it if you want to watch. Uh, I don't think it this year, Bowling for Shit. <laughs> so they want me on all these shows now because I did so well on Celebrity Assholes. <laughs> so here we go. Recognize the song? You know this one. Do dream, the impossible dream. Bright and beautiful gold. Do bear with the last of curry. Do dream, the impossible dream. I'm a Remlin guy. Well, actually, I'm here for nine days, so I guess for this nine days, I'm a stationary guy, oh no. Oh, I'm stationary, a stationary guy. Oh yeah. Stationary out here in Los Angeles. 
One of my favorite towns, I studied a lot about Los Angeles, and it's great to be here in the capital of California. L-O-S-A-N-G-L-O-S. Okay, everybody. Oh, Los Angeles. Are you people up tired or something? Can't sing along? <gasps> okay, this half of the room. Good, we've got it now. Okay, now, that guy. Good. All right, in Chinese now. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've degraded myself. And I will never ever wear something like this again. Oh, the shark bites. Oh, it is me fair. I heard him teach them. Like okay. a burly line. Hit it, boy. Oh, the shark bites. Oh, it is me fair. I heard him teach them. Burly line. Oh, the shark bites. Oh, it is me fair. I heard him teach them. Burly line. Oh, the shark bite. Jaws, too, with their teeth. to do anything at any time. Like all, I might like to drink champagne at 3 a.m. Or maybe even wear two socks on one foot. Many people come to me and they say, hey, how can you be such a swinging 
sex, God. Well, I'll tell you. It's not because I can make love up to one time a night. It's not because I say the things a woman wants to hear, like, Are you through yet? <laughs> it's because I know how to read a woman. If she is like a cat, I have kitty litter. If she is like a dog, we do it on the paper. <laughs> but I'm also a unique kind of guy, too. The kind of guy who likes to have his own special scent. Not to smell like every other guy. I like to have my own in that visual order. That's why I wear tuna fish sandwich. I put a tuna fish sandwich under each arm, maybe one or two behind the ears. I don't smell like any other guy. And it's economical too because the smell lasts for four or five days. <laughs> Many people come to me and they say, hey, what kind of girl is it you want to meet? Well, I'll tell you. I just want to meet a girl with a head on her shoulders. I hate necks. I like them like this. That way, if we go to a fancy restaurant and I walk in with her, every head turns. <laughs> Except her, she has no neck. <laughs> hey, Grandpa bought a rubber. <laughs> and now it's time for juggling. I know what you're saying. You're saying, oh, I bet this guy can't juggle. <laughs> I love it when they go far away. <laughs> Start with the easy stuff. First of all, I juggle one. shoulder trick. Now, under the leg. Can you catch this, sir? Take it and toss it up in midair, okay? Put it right about there, I'd say. <laughs> Five. 
far away. Hey, it's a Muppet. Hi, boys and girls, how's it going? <laughs> now I have orange juice on me. <laughs> yeah. I have the rubber fish towel, okay. Everyone should have one. Do you get the Muppets here? Aren't they cute? So they tape that show in London. It's so much fun to do it. They fly you over for free, so it's like a paid vacation. So I went to London, I was so close to Paris, I decided to go over there, so I saw London, and I saw France, and then I saw someone's underpants. <laughs> How many people have plans to go to France? Raise your hand. Okay, now listen. If you're going to France, let me give you a warning. In France, chapeau means hat. Rue means street. It's like those French have a different word for everything. They do it to screw you up. I'm not kidding. Now, I speak English. Um, I studied English for about two or three years, and uh, I think I've lost my accent completely. I think I can speak English very, very well. Now, I went over there thinking English will be fine because it's a universal language and everyone speaks it. So I get off the plane, get in the taxi, say to the driver, I'd like to go to a hotel, please. And the driver turns and goes, Jean de Suis, la de de What? What is that you're saying? <laughs> So the first thing you do, this is really dumb, you adopt a French accent, because you think that'll help. I would like to go to the hotel. <laughs> That's nothing, so I went out and bought a little French phrase book, hoping to memorize French, but you can, French is not like Spanish. Spanish is easy for Americans. You can kind of sound it out. Casa de Pepe. <laughs> Donde esta Casa de Pepe? But French is like, what happened? What happened? He spoke French, he's dead. Um, have I started yet? I have, okay, then let's go. Seriously. I think, uh, uh, Oh, oh no, I'm getting Legionnaire's disease! Oh, I'm a um, I think the most memorable experience I had in France was visiting the cathedral at Chartres. And if you've never been there, it's a beautiful 400-year-old uh, cathedral, beautiful stained glass, and it's... It was, I'll be honest with you, it's a very, very moving experience. And uh, as I was writing my name on it with a can of spray paint, <laughs> I, I thought of a religious experience I had earlier, about six months ago. I was at home, and an angel appeared before me. And it's so much fun, because you... The best thing to do, if an angel appears before you, you try and poke your hand through him. It drives him nuts. Whoa! Come on! Yo! But, you know, it's so hard to believe in anything anymore. You know that? Like, religion is so mythological, and it's always some story. You know, Biff came down from the sky with the magic golden rings. And science, on the other hand, is just pure empiricism, and uh, by virtue of its method, it excludes metaphysics. And I guess I wouldn't believe in anything if it weren't for my lucky astrology mood watch. <laughs> See this? I got this for five bucks. Well, you've got to be a wise shopper nowadays, and uh, you see something like that, you better pick it up, because... Well, with prices today, I wanted to buy some carpeting. You know how much they want for carpeting? $15 a square yard. 
And I'm sorry, I am not going to pay that for carpeting. So what I did, I bought two square yards, and when I go home, I strap them to my feet. By the way, I handle all my own finances. I don't believe in that accountant stuff. And uh, I'm happy to say I recently purchased my own form of private transportation, which we uh, landed out here at the airport a couple of days ago. It's not easy landing a station wagon out here at the airport. And also, we never announce this ahead of time because it always sounds like a phony deal, but part of the money taken in here tonight will be going to charity. Um, I do a lot of work with unwed mothers. No, just helping them get their start. Now, come on. Seriously, I do work with the SPCA a lot, and uh, there's a lot of uh, things going on now, uh, like in Mexico. Some people think it's a sport. I happen to think it's cruelty to animals. I'm talking about, of course, cat juggling. <laughs> they take the little kitties, 10, 12 weeks old, and they juggle them for money. La cucara, cha. The poor little kittens are going, meow! 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 And there's something going on in Kansas right now. It makes me sick. They take little laboratory mice, never hurt anybody, bring them out to Hollywood and tell them they're going to be in pictures. I know what you're saying. You're saying, oh, I'll bet he's on drugs. Well, I'd just like to say right now, I don't take any drugs. I completely quit taking everything. And that includes getting small. Oh, sure, that's easy for you to do. You haven't been through what I have been through. You see, about three weeks ago, I TS'd. Too small. Thank God I had some close friends there to kind of get me up and walk me around a little bit. They allow smoking out there. It kind of bothers some people if you're trying to watch a show and someone's sitting in front of you. The only time it bothers me if I'm in a restaurant and I'm eating and someone says, Hey, mind if I smoke? I always say, Oh, no, do you mind if I fart? <laughs> do you ever wonder where all the farts go? <laughs> well, I'll tell you. They go up into the atmosphere and they form the fart zone. It's right above the ozone layer. And this is why we have to protect the ozone layer. See, if anything happens to the ozone, then the farts fall back to Earth and not on their original owners.
You know, I used to make a lot of uh, sex jokes during my show, and I've pretty much cut it out, and I'll tell you why. I think the reason I made the jokes is because I was insecure, and uh, I've grown uh, more secure. As a matter of fact, I quit using the uh, amateur phylactics. I uh, only use the prophylactics now. But I feel pretty good tonight, I really do. I think, uh, I think tonight's gonna be the night for me. <laughs> I think you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> well, come on. I'm a rambling guy. And uh, you come up here to Universal City. And uh, let's be honest, there's a lot of uh, appealing uh, women. Uh, a man is only a guy. Uh, so uh, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I'll probably be hanging out in the parking lot after the show. Um, looking for a girl who wants to... Um, well, let's see, what's the most decent way I can put this? Um, Looking for a girl who wants to do a little of this, okay? <laughs> and who knows, I might even get into some of this. I'm not too sure, okay? <laughs> boy, oh boy, wouldn't it be wild if she was into this? <laughs> Actually, that's a myth about entertainers. You always think you meet girls, and you don't, because here I'm in town for nine days, and you don't have time to get to know anybody, and I'm not into that one-night thing. I think a person should get to know someone and even be in love with them before you use and degrade them. <laughs> and I feel sorry for women, I'll tell you why. Because so many men think they're into this kinky sex. And I wouldn't have said that, but six months ago, I met a girl. And she was taking singing lessons, and her coach, 84-year-old guy, you think it'd be the last guy in the world to be weird. But listen to this. He kept wanting her to sing from her diaphragm. I mean, that would take years to learn that. And this doesn't happen very often. About three weeks ago, I met a girl. And she was real nice, and she invited me to her apartment. So I went over there, and she had the best pussy I have ever... Oh, now, come on! I'm talking about her cat. Now, that makes me sick right there. Now, you can't say anything anymore that people don't take it dirty, and I'm sorry. That disgusts me. That cat was the best fuck I ever had. How many people have cats? One, two, three, okay, ten. Now, let me ask you this. Do you trust them? Because I've got to get a pair of cat handcuffs and I've got to get them right away. Just the little ones that go around the little front paws. Or maybe the manacles of four that get all four paws. But uh, what a drag. I found out my cat was embezzling from me. You think you know a cat for ten years? He pulls something like this. So, found out while I was away, he would go out to the mailbox pick up the checks, take them down to the bank and cash them, disguised as me. He had the little kitty arrow through the head. And I wouldn't have caught him, but I went outside to his little house where he sleeps. There was about $3,000 worth of cat toys out there. And you can't return them because they have spit all over them. So now I'm stuck with $3,000 worth of cat toys. Oh, sure, they're fun. <laughs> Got the little rubber mouse has a bell inside of it. Whoa. <laughs> Boy, I hate it when it goes under the sofa. Whoa, give me that, give me that, give me that. Hi, Crime Stoppers! Hi. Let's repeat the Crime Stoppers oath! I promise not to bully my friends! I promise, I promise not to leave my keys in the car! I promise not to leave my keys in the car!
promise not to depreciate non-taxable items brought forth from the previous tax year. Okay, good. Now, let's repeat the non-conformist oath. I promise to be different. I promise to be unique. I promise not to repeat things other people say. Let's play the banjo. On second thought, I'll play the banjo. It'd be too confusing if we all got up here. I'm sorry. I just can't do it. to sing a song to me that's always kind of meant something to me and I'd, I'd like to do this for you right now. It's kind of a sentimental thing. Maybe it has no place in a comedy show, but I think the audience is a little more sophisticated now and they don't have to do all the comedy. I think it's possible to come out here, do something a little more meaningful, maybe something that has a message. So right now I'd like to take this time out and sing the song my grandmother used to sing to me when I was just a little boy. <laughs> Be courteous, kind, and cordial. Be gentle and peaceful each day. Be warm and human and grateful. And have a good thing to say. Be thoughtful and trustful and childlike. Be witty and happy and wise. Be honest and love all your neighbors. Be obsequious, purple and clairvoyant. Be sure to stop at stop signs and drive 55 miles an hour. Pick up hitchhikers foaming at the mouth. And when you get home, get a master's degree in geology. Okay, everybody. Be courteous, kind, and forgiving. Be courteous, kind, and forgiving. Be gentle and peaceful each day. Be be warm and human and grateful. And have a good thing to say. Be thoughtful and trustful and childlike. Be thoughtful. Be witty and happy and wise. Be witty. Be honest and love all your neighbors. Be Be obsequious, purple and clairvoyant. Everybody sing. Be Be pompous, obese, and eat cactus. Let them hear you outside now. Be pompous. 
be dull and boring and omnipresent. Criticize things you don't know about. Be out long and have your knees removed. Ladies only, never make love to Bigfoot. Now then, hello, my name is Bigfoot. Everyone, put alive. Well, here's something you don't often see. <laughs> you know, I have figured out one thing that would totally put an end to show business, and that is if the human race, instead of having two arms, just had one arm right in the center of our body. Now, the reason that would put an end to show business, how would people clap? Be, hmm. I enjoy him. Oh. Kind of put an end to encores. Nobody's going to go, more. More. See, we're lucky. Is my face red? It keeps me young. Everyone, stay young with Steve. Oh, so I was, so I was saying, we're lucky the way the human body turned out. It could have been so different. And think how lucky you are to have your mouth where it is. It could have been any place. Imagine yourselves in a restaurant. Hmm. You are. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten. Whoa. Ah. Oh, no, I've spilled water all over the stage. <laughs> no problem. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> That reminds me of something I... Okay, you're a great audience, you really are. And now, it's time for... The candle trick, here we go. I thought they were out. <laughs> All right. Oh, the wind and the rain. Why, why, why? <laughs> Here we go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Too much. Thank you. All right, I'd like to move that along now. There's sort of another area of magic. Um, when I first started working with children, I really was more into the magic, to be honest with you, because that's a good Boy, you people are fast. Hmm. And now it's time for Fun Balloon Animals! But have you seen this before? No. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't like to repeat. I'm sorry. Well, I don't know what to do now. I don't like to repeat, and yet the audience is demanding that I do it. I'll tell you what I do. I'll make a compromise. I'll make balloon animals, but I won't blow them up.
funny, whenever I'm on, it becomes like Planet of the Apes. I always see people going... Okay. Oh. Go away, go away! fill up the balloons with words, and if they pop, they go, God damn it. It's not easy getting that air to curl up inside your lungs like that. See this in a toilet seat, don't sit down. Because they leap on you, they go, whoa, no! And you can get it on your lip too, go, Ugh. Hello, Mr. Johnson, is Sally home? to get serious just for a moment um we're having fun out here that's the important thing to be able to laugh in today's world because all the terrorism and crime and but i'll tell you something something that bothers me more than all of the terrorism and crime is when people come up to me and say they have chigger bites Don't they know the proper name for the insect is Chegro? Where are these people from? They have no intelligence. So... But we've had a few laughs. And I think that's important, really. Please remember one thing. I'm an experienced professional. Don't you try this at home. And... One more thing, if you bought my album and you came down here expecting me to do a lot of routines from the record and I didn't do them, well, excuse me! See? 
big people stand in line to see the boy king. How did you get so funky? Did you do the monkey? I've taken all my money and bought me a museum. Buried with my donkey. He's my favorite honky. side of the street can't you hear that bitter car that little happy tune is your step and life can be so sweet on the sunny side of the street why should you walk in that shade with your blues on parade don't be afraid the hour over and walk hold 